Whoa, yeah. mm. you guys. Usually, usually I say five out of five. That's like, you know, it's pretty. Yeah. Ten out of ten. Yeah. Oftentimes, you have to leave the city to get the most authentic experience. So we're heading to Bay Ridge, Brooklyn to have Middle Eastern food on a couple different levels. An iconic, world-famous sit-down and a millennial-owned open-air eatery that'll make you feel like you're in the big city over there. We have a couple comedian friends with us, so I know the food is going to be good and the conversation hilarious. As you know, one of our goals is always to explore culture through food. So Brooklyn, we go hard. What's going on everybody? Welcome to another episode of The World and Why where we explore culture through food. And today we're in Bay Ridge, Brooklyn um, in the middle of a large Middle Eastern and Mediterranean community. And we got a very, very special video for you guys. We are in front of Tannerine, probably one of, if not the most famous Middle Eastern restaurant in all of New York City. And you know we could not do this without two comedian friends, Farouk and Vivek. Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> What's up guys, my name is Farouk Hussein. I'm actually a Pakistani comedian here in New York City. My dad is so cheap, he doesn't let the lights stay on unless someone looks at the Christmas tree. <laughs> someone looks and then he turns it back off. Tannery is one of my favorite spots to go to here. Yeah, I'm Vivek, a South Indian comedian. I have a nut allergy, all right, which sucks because I look like I have a nut allergy. <laughs> in this video to make sure that Farouk doesn't consume any of those drinks from the drink menu. So a lot of people out there have probably had Middle Eastern food in some regard, possibly halal carts or falafel, but you have not seen it on this level. And Tannerine specifically serves Palestinian food. So let me tell you, this is something that a lot of you probably out there have not seen before. Let's, Let's go. go. All right, we've made it inside of Tannerine. It's a beautiful restaurant. It's got amazing vibe, but let's go meet the owner, Jumana, and uh, let's figure out what we're gonna eat today. Hi guys, hi everybody. Today we're serving you a combination of mezzi, which is very representative of Tannerine and Palestinian food. Some classic ingredients with a different twist on them, made by Chef Rauya, my mother, who has been in business for the past 22 years. All right, starting off our feast here at Tannerine. Guys, we have two dishes that uh, they've kind of put their own little twist on here. Moussakhan, and that's the cauliflower steak. Steak. I've had a big cauliflower before, like mm. fried one. Is that, right. That's a common dish. You ever had a blooming onion? Yeah. A million times better. A million times better <laughs> than a blooming onion. Chicken, Chicken moussaka. Okay. This is my first time having this. Mmm. Mmm. It's not dry at all. Uh -huh. Like you'd expect it to be dry or, or you know, chicken pizza, no sauce, mm. but this is. Even the bread is like oiled enough so it's like kind of crispy but soft. The thing that typifies like uh, Palestinian food is they use a lot of herbs mm -hmm. and a lot of like... Olive oil. Olive oil is key. Cauliflower steak. steak. Oh my goodness. I'm man. excited about this one. Yeah. Oh, that's right. really good. Whoa. Wow. I feel bad for you right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I feel bad. I, I by, the way, man. by the way, we, we have to address because a lot of people are like, hey, yeah, that guy yeah, doesn't yeah. eat anything. Yeah, I got a lot of food allergies and I know a lot of you guys have them as well. A lot of these like first generation Asian Americans, right? Lack probably lactose intolerance is pretty common. Um, Nut you, allergy is pretty common. So we're eating this in between real quick. Oh what yeah, are we, this what, is, what are we just snapping into right here? Right. Fried bread, boshia. It's a quintessential uh, Palestinian and uh, Middle Eastern spices on it. Zathar. The elephant in the room is how do I know here? I'm not Middle not, Eastern, but a lot you can trick a lot of people. I, I grew up in Staten Island and I didn't really get exposed to a lot of like even Brooklyn growing up. And then when I started going out, like with my college friends, Muslim kids, where are you gonna tell your where you gonna tell your parents you've been going to meet co-ed parties? At a restaurant, probably one of the most famous restaurants, so it's passable. So we usually end up in spots like this. But what are we looking at right here? We're, we're at, we're right now we're looking at these uh, fried Brussels sprouts with tahini sauce, like an eggplant sauce. And this is fried halloumi cheese. Halloumi cheese is like kind of sweet, but like savory. It's like mozzarella sticks. Fried, fried halloumi, halloumi cheese. And I would say, consistency-wise, it does kind of feel like firm tofu, but it obviously has a taste of cheese. Yeah. How familiar are you with this food? I feel like I can like draw analogs to like what I've had. I feel like it's such an interesting like gradient, right? Because you have the Middle East, right? And then you have Pakistan, then you have India, then you have the Himalayas, which is a mixture between East Asia yeah, yeah, and Daisy yeah. cultures. And then you get to East Asia and then you kind of like go up and then, you know what I mean? Like it's like, Everything I, like kind of I like the gradient thing you bring that up because we were talking about before. All of our cultures have such heavy food. Like it's like food is like such a. It's like cream. Based. It's a drug. It's cream based. Yeah. You know what I mean? The the siesta is so common between our all. Like I feel like the the middle of the day nap has to happen because you just ate a yeah, lot yeah, yeah. on your lunch. You know what I mean? Fried Brussels sprouts. Fried with Brussels sprouts with tahini sauce. Tahini. Pomegranate tahini. Mmm. Mm. Yo, fried Brussels sprouts are really popular right now, but with that tahini sauce. One. This gotta be the best Brussels sprouts I've ever had. All right, Farouk, what are we looking at? Is it fried lentils? 
the fried crispy onions. That one, I believe, it's a housemate thing. It's with the. Uh, uh, I think she girl. said it was the. Uh, it was something called the Napoleon. This is a very signature tandoorine dish: eggplant Napoleon, tomato and basil salata, breaded fried eggplant with our house-made roasted eggplant baba ganoush. Fried, fried lentils. lentils. This is the best lentils I've ever had. I never had fried lentils. This is like. They're like crispy on the outside and really smooth on the inside. Almost like little tiny, like, I guess, smooth beans. You're right. Yeah. You shrunk edamame and fried them. Wow. Right? Yo, it with yo the... you gotta combine it with the Brussels sprouts. Oh. Look at this. I'm combo. I'm sort of deconstructing <laughs> one. Spanking the Brussels sprouts. Eggplant <laughs> Napoleon. Yo, that eggplant is delicious. Whoa. Mm. You guys, that is like a 10 out of 10. Usually, usually I say five out of five. That's like. You know, it's pretty, this, yeah. 10 out of 10. Yo. All right, to finish off the appetizers that have only got progressively more amazing, we have these filet mignon shawarma sliders. Shawarma. 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 Go with the hummus. Go, go, just, go just take your spoon, dip it in the hummus. hummus. Yeah. Shawarma slider. Filet mignon. It's packing a lot of flavor yeah. I don't for know. a little slider. If you're supposed to, guys, I ate this whole thing right after, by the way. <laughs> You guys, we are looking at the mains here at Tannerine. I mean, this is unbelievable. Um, I think immediately my eyes are drawn to what looks like the most fanciful, nice, right. well-executed, 14 out of 10 rated chicken rice. Yeah. Is that wow. what it is? It's fried pita chips, uh, chicken, and over a rice pilaf. That but I would good. like some of that. Chicken, chicken and rice, rice pilaf. pilaf. Oh. Oh, good. Mm. That was some of the most tasty like rice peel off. And I know that she described it as having kind of like vermicelli noodles. I've seen this before, but I haven't seen the noodles as long. Right. It's literally like a noodle and rice dish put together. That is slow cooked food where I can taste just layers that were previously hidden to me. Almost yep. like listening to high definition music High bit rate music through good headphones. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It just, you're like, that a new instrument? This, yeah. Quick, yeah. let's just get this out of the way. Farouk, you're from Staten Island. You are defensive of Staten Island. Is this correct or not? Yeah. Is he defensive? A lot of people yeah, yes, yeah. got a lot of trash to talk Dude, about. I, yeah. People, all people know about Staten Island is from The Sopranos, and The Sopranos doesn't even take place in Staten Island. <laughs> all right, you guys, I have some kebabs right here, and I believe this is lamb and chicken. Wow. Over here we have eggplant baked with lamb. Uh, over again, vermicelli and uh, rice pilaf. You've had this before. I've never had, had this before. Right. This is a kebab. Yeah, shall, shall, shall we? Is there? And last but not least, animal. We have the fish dish. Kebab. Wow. Mm. I could never go back. I could never go back to like four dollar kebabs. How do you compare or contrast this? to an Indian kebab. We like to mince the meat a lot. We like to make like the patties like sort of situation with it. A lot of the spices that we're having here, like they're savory and lemony and stuff like that. A lot of an hour cooking is more like zesty and like you kind of feel on the tongue a little bit more like a sriracha flavor. Or, like, How spicy would you say this is compared to? Not spicy. Okay. Yeah. Eggplant. Eggplant. This wow. is so good. Do Indians eat eggplant? Yeah. 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 We call it banging. Right, yeah. Wow. Banging. Yeah. The banging is banging. The banging is banging. I used to hate eggplant growing up, but man, I'm glad I like it. We should do that. Not just eggplant, but it's lamb too. Okay. Yeah, right. yeah no, that is true. Yeah. Hey, Farouk wanted to make sure that the protein got its due. Yeah. It's not just eggplant. The big true. might be anti protein, but I'm not. <laughs> Fish. Fish. That's yeah. Now I'm just picturing like two old indie dudes fighting at LA, LA Fitness right now. <laughs> the worst Planet Fitness over the last pizza. I love, I think this is the best eggplant I've ever had, actually. Like consistently, between the couple dishes that we've had it in, delicious. Oh, this is the good wow. stuff. This, this is fresh. Shredded filo dough uh, filled with sweet cheese, baked and then topped with a rose water and orange blossom syrup and pistachios. Oh my goodness. All right, guys, ending off this amazing meal with dessert, we have kanafe. Look, wow, oh, look at the look cheese at pool. That. Earlier, we were having the halloumi that doesn't melt, and this one is definitely melting. And this dessert, mm. let's go, let's go. Ooh, that's rich. That's rich, too. If you haven't had something like this, trust me, this is like a totally Dude, different flavor palette. Texture is oh. such a blend, it's a blend of texture. You know how we were saying all the food is light? I get why now. You gotta, make room. You gotta make room for this guy. You gotta make room for this guy. Uh, the rest of the video will be shot with Farouk sleeping. All right, by the way. Yo, you need this tea afterwards to oh, yeah, uh, wash everything down. Oh, 
All right, you guys, that wraps up our amazing feast here at Tannerine, but we still gotta hit the streets. Yeah. Real quick, guys, we got, we're got we losing light, but we're going. Right now, we're about to head to the main strip on Bay Ridge where all the restaurants are. It's by 86th Street and 5th Ave. So yeah, let's go ahead over there. This is a, the grab and go spot, really. This is a spot for me, I over here. You can grab a quick falafel, quick shawarma, and just, you know, be on your way. The train's right over there. You sit there and eat by yourself and everybody watches you. Yeah. This kind of still has some elements of like old New York. What is that? Yeah, I mean, I think that for one, it, like it does feel like there's a neighborhoodly feel, right? Like you don't see that at some point in a lot of these more gentrified areas. Well, everything is small business. The congressional district, like I was telling them, is the same as Staten Island. And Staten Island are very against big business moving in. They like the mom and pop I think a big part of it to too is if you have a very strong ethnic presence, right. then it's much harder to to, to move like, people out. Yeah. But this spot is repping Palestinian street food very yeah. hard. Very hard. So this is specifically Palestinian food. Let's go and see what some of the stuff they got. Let's Let's see what's popping. Yeah. What, what's what's your, your name? Yeah. Uh, yes. So it's named after you. Okay. It's named after her. Oh, wow. You're, you're a we are with the owner of Ayat. Her name is Ayat. I a restaurant a lot with my friends and stuff, so I brought him here. Oh, okay. All right. All right, you guys, we are sitting down here at Ayat restaurant. We just talked to the owner. Yeah, we have a little bit of a different variety of things over here that she's going to be bringing out. Has this become one of your go to spots in the neighborhood? You're yeah. like, yo, I like the vibe. I like the food I gotta come to. Yeah, definitely. It's very easy. It's it's also it reminds me of more of like a Manhattan vibe, like we we're saying, like you just come in, order right there, get your stuff, and you can go. This is why we come out here to yeah. see spots that like Manhattan wouldn't have. Like, yeah, I just asked her and she said it does look like a spot that would be in the old city in mm -hmm. Palestine. Yeah. So like you know, obviously way before the younger generation, but still in that country. It feels like I'm in like a like like a street like cafe like in, in like if the vibe that she's yeah. going for. I feel that like you know some old man's gonna come pour coffee for yeah, me yeah, and yeah. like yeah it's that, that vibe. It's gonna be yeah. He has like, to be over the age of 65. Yeah, right? Over the age of 65. And not smile. No, and if he does, missing teeth. Go ahead. Let's break bread. Let's break bread. Right here. Wow. Oh. So so it wasn't <laughs> breaking a loaf of bread. It was like a. A flap of bread. It's more like the a cherry of a treaty. Break the bread. Can you touch the bread? <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm getting it. You can't even touch the bread. <laughs> break, but break, break, is the break, easiest break, break. final boss battle. <laughs> <laughs> All right, over here we got great leaves stuffed with uh, rice and meat, and over here we got lubna, which is like a yogurty, sort of like a salty and creamy, like a yogurt dip. Yeah. Yeah. Dip the bread in like a, you would have like a chip, right? Like that. Oh my god. Oh, really good. I think immediately the thing that stands out, obviously they're both Palestinian spots, even though they're at different price points. Lemon. Lemon. Oh, lemon and herbs. Lemons. And mint. This is a musakan, so a little bit of a variation of what we had earlier, tannery with the chicken on it. Mm. This is more of a traditional like street food okay. kind of version. Oh. Musakan. Go ahead, man, have a slice. Yo, that yeah. was like a that was like a nutty cheese mm -hmm. slice right there. My sesame on top of it. Oh man, this is a great thing to share. I mean, I mean, it, it does taste like a cheese slice, but the kick here is like the roasted sesame mm. seeds on top. Yo, I really did not think the little bit of roasted sesame seeds was gonna make such a big difference. But, right? Yo, gotta try this. Very unique tasting. All right, and last but not least, we got chicken and lamb shawarma. Now this is the this is the piece de resistance right there. Like that is. Top tier, basically, I mean, we've cut it up, but you get it like a giant burrito slice. Right? What, what is it about mixing the chicken and a lamb together? I mean, this is a common combination. It's, you know what it is? The chicken for the texture, the lamb for the saltiness of the taste. Mix shawarma. shawarma. Oh, perfect amount of tahini sauce. Perfect amount of kind of like sour bite to it, mm -hmm. mixed in with the savory, so all meat. the vegetables, uh. instead of being a traditional salad vegetable, they're all pickled. Mm. I like how it's served in a very like fun, cool, like, you know, millennial facing way. Uh -huh. I mean, look at this cool plate. The aesthetically, the food looks cool. The music is blasting. The vibes are good. Um, you know, I would have never thought I would come to a Palestinian street food spot and enjoy the vibe. I, I think mind. from what the owner is trying to accomplish with matching the food with the vibes, with the attitude and everything, 10 out of 10, I would say. This, yeah. this is exactly the kind of mesh, like, I feel like I'm in a Palestinian street cafe right now. I guess you could uh, just imagine what we had. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what but I, you know what? I actually don't think it's that different than uh, like a lot of the textures in Indian food, and that beer was really good. The smells of the air yeah, the of it, too, the man. molecules. Yeah. You enjoy the molecules. I did, I did. Okay. It's almost like I ate something. <laughs>
I would like to see a food show hosted by you two guys. Uh, yeah. Sure, yeah. So who can be vague? I'd love to um, see Vivek giving the commentary while Farouk eats. Vivek is the Vivek is the food critic from Ratatouille, but he he just doesn't eat anything. He just knows it's bad. He just knows it's bad. My favorite was the moussaka. Yeah, I, I really enjoyed it because of just the roasted uh, sesame seeds on top. I thought it brought a totally new flavor that was unexpected. Yeah, I'm gonna so. I'm gonna agree with you. I've had all this stuff before. It's, I've I've only had this once. Fresh out the oven and there's like flick of the wrist move, you know what I mean? Like very, very flick of the wrist move, just getting a little sesame on there and game changer. All right, you guys, thank you so much for joining us on that Middle Eastern food crawl here through Bay Ridge. Shout out to Farouk, shout out to Vivek. And thank you for taking us on this tour today. I mean, honestly, I would have never got exposed to Tannerine or here at Ayat. Man, um, I thought it was really interesting uh, that both spots were more Palestinian based, you know? And yeah. that's really cool because I'd never had that food. But guys, there's all types of food out here. Uh, Bay Ridge is very, very diverse. And uh, man, I just had some dishes I'd never had before. And anytime, you know, I think I eat a lot of food, but anytime I can taste something that I've never had, I learned a lot. We went to two similar uh, cuisine restaurants, but in two, set in two different vibes totally, first of all. And there's no overlap in the type of food they presented to us. So it was like, I felt like I experienced Palestinian royalty and the Palestinian proletariat in one, one day. No matter what you do, you feel like you know somebody or something, and then you go sit in their establishment or something for like even a minute, and you realize how much, you, how little you know. Yeah, I mean, my big takeaway, even without eating anything, was like, I thought it was so cool how passionate both owners were over like the vibe they're trying to create and the food. That, like, we asked so many questions and they had the answers like so detailed to every question. Yeah. There's so many more similarities between what we eat, like how we view things, our challenges, and there are differences. And so if we focus more on that, yeah. that's like when you're really gonna have a better time like interacting with the people around you. Uh, you can find me at Faruqiu on Instagram and at Fat Aladdin on Twitter. Follow me. Yeah, you can find me on Instagram at Indian Maisel. Hey guys, uh, it's getting pretty late. I heard you have a show tonight. Yeah, Where's we it do. At? It's at Ample Hills Creamery in right. Brooklyn at seven and eight forty-five. Well, Otherwise, if you follow yo, me, well, find me. The, the show would have already happened by the time yo, you see this. Yeah, I've yeah, seen yeah, Farouk you know. set. Very funny. You made me laugh. I don't want to give away the joke, but you compare yourself to John Lovitz, and it made me laugh. Really for, those, hard. for those watching who still remember who John Lovitz is, if Hilarious. you don't know who John Lovitz is, check out all their social media down below. Um, shout out to the two restaurants that we ate at today. Ayat is A Y A T, Tannerine is T A N O R E E N, both in Bay Ridge. Locate them, find them on, they're both on Instagram, find them, support them. Let us know in the comments down below what else we need to try out around New York. Yes, we are leaving Manhattan officially, guys. We're hitting up Queens and Brooklyn. Who knows? Staten Island might be next. Uh, Jersey might be next. It might take a minute to get there. Once you guys but, really run out of ideas, yeah. we'll get you. Yeah, yeah, After yeah. we do New York, we're definitely hitting up everywhere else, guys. But uh, thank you so much for watching and leave it in the comments down below. Be nice, everybody. Be respectful. <laughs> yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah. Hit subscribe, hit the like button, and check getting, out their like, stuff, guys. This is David and Andrew from the Fun Bros signing off. And until next time, we out. Peace. For Middle Eastern rather than Pakistani. Yeah, okay, so I get mistaken for dark Sicilian. I get mistaken. Yeah, which is it's yeah, it's the funny. Sicilian is yeah, in his funny. Yeah, yeah. I, get, I get that. I get a lot of uh, Egyptian. I get Egyptian. That's all in the voice. <laughs> <laughs> the, the, the Sicilian. Yeah.